Hey, hi everyone and welcome to another weekly connection. So let's talk more about how to get rid of all those doggone negative thoughts today. So let's do this. Let's breathe. It's a little windy. It's always windy lately. Must be spring. Bring that cosmic cleanse in and the cosmic cleanse will help move that out of your aura, which is also out of your brain, right? And the cosmic thrust, we will use one drop We'll bring it into our energy field. Cup your hands together. And just take that deep breath in, that heaven and earth connection with a little more at your solar plexus and it allows us to transcend time and space. So, Lord Mahe and Lord Kutumi, to all call, okay, lots of them, um, are here because we really want to talk about um, these thought patterns and the energy patterns, your thought, thoughts, determine the vibration of your energy. Like you can look at someone and go, okay, that person has pretty Yankee energy, right? You can look at someone else and go, oh, look how loving and sweet they look, right? Because your energy system is individual to you. There is no other energy system the same as yours. So that's why when we do like astro projection or we do, uh, you know, traveling to different places, we, we, we look at a focus of light and we go to that light. So, and that's within a circle, but that's another story. But it, the point is that all of those lights and you are a light, and I do a meditation to the Alua, which is in the ionosphere, where you look at all the light threads and all the light uh, star seeds on the planet. And it's quite magnificent. And, and we see the individuality of all of us, all of our energy systems. We're all light. But how that light moves and vibrates is individual to every single person. So you want to make sure that your energy is radiating very positive light, which moves balanced and harmonious. You know, they did photos of like um, different things in the crystalline energy of them many, many years ago it was very popular. And, and it showed how everything shows a vibration. They showed contaminated water, and then they cleaned the water, and how the two crystalline energies were totally different. So we are totally different energetically, and how we vibrate, depending on how you think, and what your thoughts are, and what your... <laughs> Joelle Call says, what your boogie bears are. <laughs> I love that guy. So, but we all have boogie bears, you know? Don't get mad at yourself. We're all working on our boogie bears, right? Because we all have to get rid of all of this deep-seated through humanity 3D baloney, you know? So, so let's say I'm having a negative thought. When I'm doing that, the heart is a crucible. Let me explain this first. The heart is a crucible. The energy comes up from the lower three trident. Well, now it's more. Through the heart and then the upper through the heart. And that's the heart crucible. And that's what we radiate out and we vibrate out. That's why when we say in the heart, we want to push that love, push that light out. Now here's what's really interesting. Because people are saying, well, where does all this negativity come from? I say, it comes from negative thoughts. And that may or may not explain it, but it's not the full explanation. Here's the deal. Only light, only light can pass through your heart crucible. So what happens when you have a negative thought or you scream or you yell or you do something? You're releasing that negativity into your aura and then out into the world 
and you create negative thought patterns. So you get mad because people don't believe the way you want to believe. You're putting out negative energy about something that you think is good or right or loving. So then it doesn't become loving anymore. You see, you're shifting and you're changing that vibration. So now you got all this trash, which is where this baby comes in because it cleans out all that trash. So that, that energy cannot go through your heart. Only love, only light, only positivity can go through your heart crucible. So now we're stuck with all this junk running around and it goes like attracts like. So now this person's running around with a similar negative thought and it goes, I like this, I'm staying right here. And it attaches to that person's energy. So most people are carrying around a lot of negative thought forms. And the only way to get rid of that is to meditate that out, is to shift that out and bring the light in and change your thoughts from the negative to the positive because we don't need any more stinking negative thought patterns around here. Those of you who are my students, you learn how to do a technique called tombing that gets rid of all of those. But a lot of people think that like entities, um, things are entities and they're actually negative thought forms. There's far more negative thought forms than there are entities, although there are still entities. Let's get rid of it. Let's do the job. Are you ready? So I'm going to get the ascension oil, right? And I'm going to use this ascension oil. And I'm going to put it on my third eye. I got sort of excited over that. There we go. <laughs> well, I spend most of my day removing negative thought patterns from people, so I guess I would. And then we put it on our, our uh, throat. And I like it on my wrists. So I just like it because I like the smell of it. And we're going to focus at our third eye. And I hope you've been feeling some changes in your third eye. With getting rid of all that crystalline stuff. It's like calciums around your third eye, calcium deposits. And some things in our environment, you really want to eat good food and good water because that makes more calcium deposit on your third eye. So you want to make sure you're not eating chemicals at all. Or um, that's mostly chemicals. A lot of the other stuff doesn't help, but it doesn't create the calciums. Okay. So now, let's focus on the third eye, bring your light up, and visualize that golden light coming down through your body and into the earth. The mother grabs onto you. Yippee, she's so glad you're here. The mother is so grateful to all of the star children and especially the light seeds because the light seeds are doing their job. A star child doesn't necessarily remember. So we're here to move the light, to shift out that negativity and bring it positive. And then we grab onto the grid and we bring it around up. And then we bring it down again. And around and round we go. Round and round. There we go. Bring that orbit around and just feel that. Just feel that energy. Now you're solid force of light. You're like, you're like a, a lighthouse when you have that energy just moving through you like that. And then we bring it up our back with the essence of the mother and we waterfall it out our aura. And we bring that light into the well of the mother so that we can understand and become one with all creation. And we move it out into our root aura so that we can dissolve all the negative thought of 3D consciousness in men. Remember, all the negativity comes from those thought patterns attaching themselves. 
So we need to stop making them and start clearing them. And then we bring it out into our sacral aura where all of those dictations are dissolved now. You don't need to be told what to do and what not to do. You just do right action. That's how consciousness works. You don't need laws. They're not necessary. People don't break them. Here you need laws because people take every opportunity to break a law. <laughs> it seems so. So we want to make sure that we radiate that light so that now we're coming from consciousness. And then we bring it into our s conscious use of power, which is below the solar plexus and above the sacral on our left side. And that is the consciousness chakra. That teaches us compassion and love for one another. And then we bring it up into our solar plexus. And we radiate that out, the power of love. Because that's what we are. We're the power of love. And then we bring it into the empathic shield which we radiate that love in all that we do and all that we say, just our breath. And remember the very vibration of you, the identity of your vibration shows love. I don't see people very clearly, but I see their energy fields extremely well. And I recognize people by their energy field because that vibration, which is moving light, is different for everyone. So make now your light vibrate as high a frequency as you can generate. And then we bring it through our heart. And through that crucible, we bring that light of love. We bring that love. And everything that we emit is love, kindness, and compassion. And then we bring it up into our conscious intention. Because our intention is to do this. Our intention is to shift out of duality and negativity. And into light and oneness. And then we bring it up into our throat. And we express that. In all that we are. So that if when you look for you in the circle of thought... And then you see that vibration. And in that cycle of action, you show positive. Not attached to negative thought patterns. Let them go. You are light. And you show that oneness. And we bring it up into our third eye. And again, bringing that light through the third eye. Are you ready? And we breathe it in and out, and in, and out, and we keep doing that. And that's enough. And then we bring it up into our crown, where we're happy to show you our crown. <laughs> because we're here as the light seeds, as the light tower that's here to shift out of negativity and into positive. And into the telepathic notch, where as we perfect these skills, we are able to generate, connect in oneness with all. So now radiate it out, all the way out, 18 inches, nice, strong. Just really make that a lot of gold light really thick because we want other people to munch and crunch. They don't bother us. We're not bringing them into our energy field. We ignore that. Let them have the light. Our job is that when we don't understand something, now we can look at it from their point of view and we don't judge. And it protects you from anyone coming into your energy field at any time. So wear that light nice and strong.
and allow yourself to be the light seed that you are, shifting the energy with every breath that you take to positivity, to love, kindness, and compassion. All right. I love you all, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.